Hey guys, what's up? I'm coming to you from the Big Easy New Orleans on the campus of New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary. You see that wonderful chapel in the back. I love it so much. Look at my devotion this morning as I've been walking. Man, I was really struck as I was reading and you know, Peter makes this statement. I think it's important for us as Christians, but specifically as disciples to listen is Peter says, you, you are a chosen people. You, you're a chosen race. You, you're a royal priesthood. You're holy. You're righteous. You know, you are set apart. Now notice what this is. This is important. I'm going to show you this for a couple reasons. He says, you're set apart so that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness. So this is what I want to show you this morning which is very important as a disciple of jesus you are chosen by christ he has pulled you out of the darkness he he has put his love upon you so now you may feel ashamed for sin you may think you're just a mom or you're just a dad or you're just a child you may think because uh, i'm in high school or because i'm in college you may think because i work a dead-end job you may put all these other characteristics that define yourself but beloved if you're in christ if you're a disciple of jesus i want you to know that god has called you out for himself how beautiful is that you are chosen you are set apart second thing is because of that let us live like that notice what he says he says he's called you out so that you may do something beloved you are a disciple of jesus christ you're a follower of god let us do something with our life and we don't have to do this grand magnanimous things right he says proclaim the excellencies of him who called you so let us be disciples who recognize that our identity is not in this world our identity in christ is in christ and secondly let us realize that as in Christ, as disciples in Christ, let us proclaim the excellencies of him who calls us. That way we proclaim them with our mouth and with the way we live in this world, that others may come to know the love of Jesus. God bless. Have a great day.